The hole tool can be used to create parametric holes and openings in almost any type of object. This is how it works. First I'll create a profile member for the wall to test the hole tool. Select a face and create a new profile and we'll give it a concrete block material. You can launch the hole tool by clicking the icon in the toolbar. You can create circular openings, rectangular openings, or use a completely custom profile as an opening. When creating a circular opening, you can set the diameter here, and we'll punch in 1.2 meters, and the number of segments. To start creating openings, click the Add Holes to Object button. And you'll notice that the hole tool uses inferencing in order to help create holes accurately. Just click the location where you want to create an opening. The last point that you clicked will become your new reference point. And then by entering a distance value, you can choose the location for the next hole. Pressing enter will also create a hole. When you've got rectangular openings selected, you can set the length and the width of the hole. It's highly recommended to always select the object that you want to create the hole in before you create it. If you don't do that, you might find that holes aren't being created as you expect. For example, if I create a group here, and then have that object selected, and then try and click on the wall, the hole won't be created because it's trying to create a hole in the selected object, not the wall. To create a custom profile opening, one way to do it is to draw a face that represents the opening onto the object. Select the face, click the custom hole button, and then click this button here. Now the profile dialog will open, allowing you to choose any profile from your library as the hole. But you can also create the hole based on the selected face by adding it as a profile and then clicking OK. Now we can delete the original face and then start the hole tool. You can also set the placement point for the hole by using the drop down list. A useful technique with the hole tool is using the control button to set a reference point. If I'm making a circular hole and I want to make sure that the center of the hole is a specific distance from a certain point, I can tap the control key to set a reference point. But when I do that, you need to make sure that the focus of the tool is on the active view. And the easy way to do that is to just first orbit the view. Just hover your mouse over the desired reference point and tap the control key. Now you can see that a reference point has been created at the top corner of the previous opening. Now I can set a distance from that reference point by typing a value in. Here I'll type in 0.3 meters and hit enter. Now that has created a new reference point here at the new location. Now if I want I can go across another 0.3 meters, hit enter, and now press enter again to create the hole at the precise location. You can also create holes through nested groups and components. Here we've got a multi-layer wall made up of several groups. You can see how the individual groups can be selected, but we can create a hole through all of them at once with the hole tool. Holes can also be deleted, but only if the hole was created through a profile member. Just click the Remove Holes button, which activates the Remove Hole tool. Hover the mouse over a previously created hole and click.
Now it's important to note that you can only delete holes from profile members and you can only delete the holes if you're at the same level where you can actually select the profile member itself. So for example here I'm actually selecting the profile member but here I'm selecting an outer group that contains the profile members. So I cannot delete the openings unless I first edit the group. With the hole tool, you can create holes in any type of object, not just profile members. Here I'm creating a simple group, and I can create holes through it with the hole tool. You can even create holes through non-solid objects. But keep in mind that you cannot remove holes from normal groups and components. They can only be removed from profile members. Lastly, you can also create partial depth holes. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial.